Hey everyone and welcome to my craft room. My name's Julianne Richards and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in southern Tasmania. Thanks for joining me for my normal Saturday morning crafting. This is actually a pre-recorded video because um, I'm busy at the moment getting ready for, well, getting started with my latest stamp camp. So um, I'm actually at this moment probably live with my wonderful customers online doing some wonderful crafting with the forever love suite so yeah keep an eye out if you'd like to be part of those in the future i have them once or twice a year i have a launch every time there's a new catalog and then i'll do a stamp camp in between um, picking a product and um, really exploring what you can do with it in a um, you know eight to ten cards but anyway so watch out for that but as i say today i'm going to um just have a, a quick pre-recorded video so you can have your Saturday morning crafting fix. Um, sketches. We're going to be looking at um, a, a sketch. Now, when you're, uh, and I'll just pop this one up, a card sketch, if you don't know or if you haven't come across them before, is just a little diagram like that which basically gives you the basic outline of a card. And if you're um, suffering from a bit of uh, crafter's block, which is very, very real, a sketch can give you somewhere, a, a sort of a platform to, to make something of your own. I have a, a sketch challenge every month in my little card making group, my little customer group, and this happens to be the April sketch. So what everyone's doing is uh, popping away, grabbing what they have in their craft room, um, creating something that looks something like that and um, posting it. So at the end of the um, well, at the end of the time, which I think is about next week sometime, um, I'll show all the pictures to my judge, who happens to be my husband, Stephen, and uh, he'll pick the winner and the winner gets a free uh, funfold class from me. So that's the sketch that we're using this month. And as I say, it's a sketch is a great way to um, unclog the um, crafter's block if you have it. But what I thought I'd do, and I am sort of at the moment suffering a wee bit of crafter's block, um, I would use the sketch to make a few cards just to get the, the juices flowing and um, and I'll make one for you um, today as well. So get rid of that sketch there. So I've made two here. This one here is the first one. I've used the every, Everyday Designs dies. You can see there with the little um, holes in the in the rectangles there to, to make those panels that you seem that you remember from the sketch. A little banner in the center another everyday design circle this time to pop that little uh, feature circle there and i've used the um designer series paper from the um uh, uh, latte love suite there so that's an online exclusive the little bling down here as well and the and the sentiment are all from that latte love suite so that's uh, one there so that's a, a portrait version and then i thought why couldn't we turn that sketch on its side and do a landscape version? And this one is, um, I just fell in love with this as soon as I did it. Uh, Happy Mother's Day card there. And I've used the designer series paper and this is an, a new product, an upcoming product in the new catalogue. It's the Thoughtful Journey designer series paper. It's a six by six. It has some beautiful colours, beautiful designs, lots of landscapes. And I love it when um, Stamping Up put out um, the... Uh, watercolour landscapes they are really something special so I thought given that this has sort of like a little three panel here we could use a bit of a landscape and have that sort of go across the card in a in a in, a, in that sort of orientation um, put the banner in with a little happy mother's day and that's gorgeous and I've used the new bling too that comes in the in colours so that matches that paper perfectly so I thought I will make another one of these since I'm uh, a wee bit obsessed and I'll show you um, the measurements I've used and how to pop it together as well. So, as I say, if you're in my um, card making group, you're very, very welcome to join my monthly skits challenge. And the prize, you know, if I do say so myself, is pretty good. Okay, so I'm using a different landscape from the um, paper pack, the same paper pack, but a different scene. You will use, and if you guard your designer series paper, jealously you you may not like this you will use two pieces of the designer series paper one as a background although you could flip and use a different background you could flip this over and use the back of it if you want to it's quite nice in its own has the same sorts of colors there i'm going to use that and then three the three little panels are set on white backgrounds and i've 
fixed, I've picked them out of the second sheet of designer series paper so that they sort of match the scene that they're going behind. So see here, those little reeds are there and they are there on the on the paper. So I'm going to line them up. So I thought it would sort of give a little bit of a optical illusion that the those panels were coming up and away at you um, as you're sort of looking through frames at the actual picture. That's what the look I'm going for anyway. And I may, for this one, set them up on dimensionals just to give them a bit of depth as well so they really look like you're looking in through the lens of a camera or something like that. So let's see how that turns out. So I'll take them away and we'll get, go through the measurements. The card base, usual side card base for me is in white, thick cardstock. It's uh, eight and a quarter by five and a half and it's scored at four and an eighth to give the card. So it's going to have the score at the top because it's a landscape card. This panel that I create or this layer that I cut of the designer series paper is four inches by five and three eighths. So just a tiny border around the edge, nothing huge. As I say, I'm going to try and maximise our beautiful landscape in this card. And I only have one mother, so I'm not going to make another Mother's Day card. I'm going to use something different on this one. just to get an existing product in there and show you something that you is retiring um, very soon. So if you love it, you better grab it. There we are. So that's just, that's pretty on its own, isn't it? It's just, it's just lovely paper. Okay, so that's our four inch by five and three eighths designer series paper. We then have some little rectangles of white. They are going to sit on there so these i'll have to check them because i can't remember these are one and three eighths by three so one and three eighths inches which i think i did look at that on my thing and it was quite it was almost one and three, it's yeah. three and a half so three and a half centimeters by seven and a half so that's nice and easy isn't it three and a half centimeters by seven and a half so three of those and then the designer series paper, as I say, I'm matching it to the background behind. They are three and a quarter. My ruler needs it's centimeters. No wonder I don't work in centimeters. So three and a quarter. Sorry. So three and a half is the white and the. Um, the designer series paper is 3.2 wide, so 3.2 centimetres wide and 7.2 long. So obviously we've taken that little bit off to have the border around. So there we go. So what I'm going to do is add those, first of all, to their little pieces of white. So in inches these would be one and a quarter inches by two and seven eighths. If you're an inches person like me, that's one. This one looks a bit like sand dunes, doesn't it? The blue sky and the reeds, and then the And the whitish sort of sand behind. That's what this one's aiming at. So there we are. We have our three little panels there already. Okay. And as I say, I'm going to pop those on some dimensionals. I don't know if I'm going to like it that way, but I'm going to do it anyway. In my mind, it's a good idea. So let's see how it goes. So I'll just pop. I might just pop them down the middle just in case I have to rip it off if I don't like it. But we'll have to line these up so that they look like they are um, sort of running in a straight line across. So sometimes dimensionals are a bit tricky to rip off once they've been on for a while. So what I'll do is I'll start at one end. I always, if I'm putting things in like this, I'll start at one end 
not that one. I'll start at one end, line up the two ends and then bring in the central ones so I can evenly space those. So that's a good way of doing it. This is the left-hand end one. So from the last one, you need just a little bit of space to the left-hand side and as even top and bottom as you can. So I've probably popped that uh, from the very edge of the card. I've popped that like about 7 mil in, which I suppose is not from the very edge of the card, like about a quarter of an inch. So that's a quarter of an inch in from the left-hand side. Let's do the other end. Do the same, bring it in that sort of quarter of an inch. I line my, my um, ruler across that so I can make sure I line them up properly. So I'll lay my ruler across, line it up with my grid paper, grid, grid on my glass mat, and then bring that in so I know that they're all even. It's not going to matter too much if they're a micromillimetre out. So that's either end. You see how they sort of line up with the picture behind them? That's the look I'm going for. And then this one is going to go here. So I might not firm that down yet until I bring in our little panel here, our little strip to make sure that's the right distance. Yes, that looks the right distance there. So this one is five-eighths of an inch, which I think is that's a centimetre and a half wide, and it's about three and three-quarters long. Uh, inches long. I'm going to get myself confused trying to give you centimetres and inches so I might just stick to one way or the other. I'm going to use my banner punch to just put the banners on the end. Now the banner punch to my sadness is actually retiring so if you've seen me use it and you love it, it is retiring. I'm not sure whether it's on sale. Hang on for two seconds. Whether it's actually reduced. Bear with me, I will tell you. Where is it? Here we go. Banner punch, she says, should be a lot quicker than she is. Banner. Find what's there. Right, the banner picker punch is definitely retiring uh, and it's not reduced. So obviously it's a fairly popular item and they're not reducing the price. So if you want to grab it, obviously, um, best to do so but you there's no reduction on it that's a shame okay so I'm bannering the other end as well so I've got that little piece bannered there that's, as I say that's going to sit in there so I'm happy with the position of that one I confirm that down and add the little banner now do I put that banner on dimensionals or not bring it up to the size I'll leave it there for the minute until I finish the rest of the card and then we can decide as we go Got a little piece of um, white cardstock there and my Filled with Happiness stamp set. Now, the Filled with Happiness stamp set is also retiring and also hasn't been reduced. So, uh, unfortunately, you can't, if you love this one, unfortunately, it's not reduced either. But it is retiring, so if you love it, you better grab it. Uh, usually when things retire but aren't reduced, it means that they're very popular, so stamping up think they'll be able to sell them at full price. Okay, so for the colour of my sentiment with this one, I went Happy Mother's Day. That's in one of our brand new in colours, Petunia Pop. Um, so that's the colour I've used there. I'm not quite sure I want to go Petunia Pop with this one because it seems to be so there's a little bit more colour to that one. Uh, I mean, a bit more other than the pinks that's are in, that are in this one. So I'm thinking... Maybe I need a different colour for the sentiment of this one. Uh, what colours do they have in the paper? Let's see. Good thing with stamping up, of course, as you know, is you just flip it over and it tells you which colours you can go for, and that's really, really handy. Wild Wheat is one of the colours. I wonder if that would be a good option. Blackberry Bliss. Mm. Cajun Craze, Calypso Coral, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight. Hmm. See, it's got a bit of blue over here. I think that would be the Misty Moonlight. I might try that. That might be worth a go. So Misty Moonlight's one of my favourite blues. As you can tell, it's had a bit of use. Let's just give it a go. 
I haven't done this, as I say, this is a, this is a different to the first design slightly, so we're going to have a little bit of a play. So just a note. So I'm using the You're Wonderful, I Appreciate You. Just a note from the Filled with Happiness. It's a re I love this stamp set. I'm going to keep it. I actually popped it in my keeping pile um, already, so thinking that uh, without even actually realising that I'd done it, but uh, when I saw it there, I thought, yeah, that's it, definitely a keeper. And it goes with the modern over pun oval punch, and thankfully that oval punch is not retiring, so we'll keep using that one um, as long as we possibly can. So just a note, you're wonderful, I appreciate you. And that's going to sit, as much as I hate covering the, um, the scene, it's going to sit over the top of those two little um, raised up border there. So uh, I don't think it matters too much if we actually set that little banner up on, set on dimensionals or not because a little just a note is going to sort of straddle those two anyway. Um, I may just glue that. As I say, I don't think it's going to matter too much. overall card it might even add a little bit of interest if it's actually at a different level yeah. and I'm going to bring this one in I'm going to pop dimensionals just down the center here so something's going to have dimensionals on it just so that it sits on that little banner and just sort of rests on the two sides you could pop some glue on those two side ones if you wanted to just really keep it secure but I think three dimensionals down the middle will be plenty to do that yeah I like that misty moonlight that's really good it makes it stand out really nicely and I love that the way that um that uh, landscape fits in with the with the outside with the with the surrounds that's excellent I love that okay so let's get some bling um This is the new, and I won't open that pack because it's a new pack. Where's the other ones? These are the new in colour shimmer gems. So they come in the five colours that we get from our, um, from the new in colours. So there's the Petunia Pop, what was it? Petunia Pop that we just talked about. This one is our Pretty in Pink. Um, Summer Splash, which I've used already, as you can tell, Shy Shamrock and the pe uh, Peach Pie. I'm not sure about any of those. I know there's a whole lot of peachiness happening over here, so maybe the Peach Pie would be the go. Let's just put them on there and see. Yeah, the Peach Pie would be all right. That's too green. That's too green. That's too pink. And that's too pink. So I think the peach pie out of this, to be honest, I think I probably would prefer something in a blue. I don't think I've got anything in a blue. What have I got? for my old favourite iridescent gems which tend to take the colour of the background anyway. Actually I think I like the, the peach pie. I think that'll be quite nice. Or iridescent gems. Okay we'll go peach pie since we are trying to use something new today so we'll go the peach pie. Stay over this part where there's actually some peachy pie sort of colours, I think. And then up here. There we go. So there's a little bit. I oh, don't like that one. That one's just looks silly. Um, put that one there, although it's on blue. That's fine. There we go. Okay, 
So that is my three panel card based on our sketch. So let's bring that sketch up again so you can see. Although I flipped it, if I flipped mine that way rather than that way. <laughs> yeah, I've made it landscape rather than um, portrait, but hey, that's the inspiration that you get from the sketch, which is really, really handy, as I say, if you're getting a bit of crafter's block. Okay, so thanks for joining me for this one. I hope you've enjoyed that little card. As I said, that is my sort of landscape version of my sketch. This one's a little bit more feminine, a little bit more light colours, but I think that's pretty special, especially with those set up on those little um, dimensionals like that. And this one is the sort of portrait version with our latte, latte love um, suite as well. So that's an online exclusive if you like that one. You've seen me probably use that one um, before. Um, but the paper and the stuff that I've used for um, this, these two are, are in the upcoming catalogue. So um, thanks for joining me today. Hopefully you liked those cards. As I say, sketch is a great way of getting um, creating if you're feeling a bit uninspired. Um, and as I say, drop over to my um, my card making group if you are a, live in Australia and are not a demonstrator. You can pop in and join the group and um, join in the fun with my uh, monthly sketch challenge plus lots and lots more. But anyway, great to see you all. Uh, enjoy your day and I will catch you all again later.